Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men, and the topic for this video is I was a stepdad to her kids. Sometimes the breakup is going to be complex and involve other people. You know, you might be really connected with her parents, or she might be connected with your family or with your social circle. And some specific situations is when you have children from another relationship, or she has children from another partner, and then you're bonding, you're connecting, you're coupling, you become a stepdad to her children. What do you do when you step out of the relationship? And the idea is very simple. When you break up, you don't let go only of one human being. You let go of her world, the totality of her world. You let go of a social circle, you let go of the things that she used to bring into your life, you let go of her family, and you let go of her children. Here's the thing to understand, it is that legally she's responsible, right? She's the parent. And the official or the biological parent, the biological father, will probably have more power than you have as somebody who showed up in her life for a temporary time, for a temporary period. Imagine that one year from now she's in a committed relationship with a new lover, with a new partner, and that man starts taking place into this children's life. Who do you think is going to have more power in the long term? Is it you or is the new man coming into her life? And so if you are attached to being a stepdad to her kids while she broke up with you, while she's already dating somebody else, you could get really hurt. Because what happens is you arrive in this connection that you have with these children and you invest yourself emotionally, energetically, into their well-being. You might care, you might love them. But the thing is that you have very little control and very little power. She might cut you off. She might speak negatively about you to them. And so if you're trying to hold on that or trying to control that or trying to influence these children's education and well-being, Sometimes that door is not going to be open. Maybe the new man in her life is going to be friendly towards you, is going to be, but maybe not. And maybe she, she won't be. She will say, well, stay away from, from, from you. She will say to her kids that she doesn't want them to interact with you. And then what do you do? You have very little power and very little influence. So being attached to that role of being a stepdad to her kids is something that can lock you in and make you suffer a lot. So the core idea is like, she broke up with you, you are no longer a stepdad to these children. And I know that this might hurt. I know that I'm being very direct right there, especially if you have, you know, a deep bonded connection with these children. I know that deep inside you go like, what? You know, that hurts. Yes, because it's another dimension or another degree of, of the breakup. And there might be a little window somewhere, you know, especially if the children are already mature, you know, if they are teenagers or even older, then maybe there is a window there where you can develop some form of connection and friendship where she accepts that and you can still bond. If you have been playing a significant role in their lives, you know, maybe you were there from almost, almost like the moment where they were born. Maybe you have been, they have been in your life like for 15 years. Of course, they are not going to completely withdraw out of your life. Maybe you might see them every now and then. But having high expectations or having the desire to control or direct or influence their education, for instance, it's, you can get really hurt there because you will realize that you don't have any right legally and also that your ex might be completely cutting you off and not wanting you to interact or influence their education. 
And so there is only one way to go. It is to let go or release. If there is a little bit of bonding or a little bit of connection that survives, that's great. Why not? You can feed it from a light place. You can say to them, you can come to me any time. I'll be there for you if you need anything. Just reach out. You know, you can say things like that and see if they, you know, respond or not. But you being attached to sustaining, developing a connection with them <clears throat> might be challenging. It's exactly, yeah, the same dynamics apply to you trying to um, create a bonded connection with, for instance, her parents, her family, her social circle, the people she interacts with at work. You know, it's like all that becomes her world. And when she breaks up, you break up with the totality of her world, not just that specific human being. 